Welcome back. It is uh, Mental Illness Awareness Week, October 5th to the 11th, and tomorrow is World Mental Health Day. Uh, we've invited uh, the Executive Director of Pathways Clubhouse, Dave McDonald, in, and uh, one of its members, Andy Birch, in to uh, talk to us today. Thank you, gentlemen, both for being here. Thanks for having us. Um, Dave, maybe we'll start with you. You can tell us a little bit uh, about Pathways and sure. uh, what you guys do. Sure. Well, Pathways Clubhouse is a, a community-based rehabilitation program for adults living with mental illness, and, and our goal is to help uh, our, our, our members to to rejoin the world of, of the working force, to have a home, to, to go back to school, uh, have uh, friends again, and to, to help people integrate back into the community uh, through through their needs. Uh, and we, so we match our program around their their issues and that, and treating the person as a peer and partner. So. Now the focus is living with schizophrenia this time around? That's right, yeah. so World Mental Health Day tomorrow is living with schizophrenia, mm -hmm. and so a lot of our members are, are do uh, have schizophrenia, including Andy and that, so that's why we have Andy with us today. Andy, what sort of a difference has Pathways made for you? It's uh, been a new life for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I was introduced to them about nine years ago uh, when I was looking for housing for myself, my own apartment, my secure own secure apartment. And at that time, I was uh, too, still too ill to go into the clubhouse every day and participate. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I was staying in my apartment for five years by myself and uh, being visited once a month by the housing worker from Pathways. And I got slowly better and better, felt better and better. And uh, after five years, I was convinced to go to Pathways and participate in their functions. And uh, it's just been... Uh, a great story ever since. Mm -hmm. whether I, I, I'm feeling for, for the first. I've had schizophrenia for 20 years, and for the first 15 years, I didn't enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Ever since I joined Pathways, I started enjoying life again. Great story, Dave. How many Canadians do live with mental illness? Well, they say about one out of every five people one do five. Yeah, have yeah. experienced mental illness uh, sometime in their life. So, uh, so if you think of all the uh, looking at the, the, the city of Vancouver, even the employees here at, at Global, uh, you know somebody who has a mental health issue and all of us know a friend, a loved one, uh, a neighbor, a co-worker who's experienced a mental health issue. Andy, what do you want people to know about uh, mental health issues, mental illness? Uh, I, I would like to know that, like people to know that there is a, a, an end in sight. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, mental illness is not a permanent condition. Mm -hmm. um, I often thought it was when I was in my early stages of illness, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I was really surprised to find that uh, yeah. I, I was enjoying life again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I travel around the world now mm -hmm. uh, doing accreditations. And uh, I, I, it sounds a bit like bragging, but mm -hmm. uh, I think it's an inspiration to a lot of people that I have gone through what I've gone through, and now I'm doing what I'm doing. Absolutely. An end in sight and lots of help available. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's and if great. people want to get in touch with you at Pathways, yes. what's the best way? Call us at 604 276 8834. Um, okay. That's our number. Dave great. and Andy, thank you both very thank much you for guys. coming in. Great. Yeah, thank it's you. great. Richmond.cmha.bc.ca, also uh, a good resource as well. Yeah. Thanks very much. Great. Thank you. All right, Kate's still ahead uh, with a forecast for you. We'll